in celebration of our 200th vlog, we're planting 200 seeds. Aren't they pretty? And they're all here. We got all 10 here. I think we're on a roll. Not lost any in a long time. But look, I think it's time to move their coop. See how the grass gets caked with T-bird manure? When that happens, I just move the A-frame forward and give some fresh grass. But I don't have any more room to go forward. So I gotta shimmy it to the side and start going down the middle here. And the only problem with that is I need a chain to pull this thing and the chain has fallen right in the middle in all this manure. Ugh. I'm just gonna have to gird up my loins and do this. See their old lane? Now they have a new lane. And it's pretty much time to move them to new grass. So they've eaten this down. I'll move you guys out soon. Hey, I just remember what today is. It's Labor Day, guys. Happy Labor Day, T-Bag and your posse. Now, me and you need to have a little conversation, okay? No working today. You can have the day off, okay? <laughs> Look at him. Look at her looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm trying to tell them it's Labor Day. You're not supposed to work on Labor Day. You see, chickens don't care if it's Labor Day, New Year's Day, or even Christmas. All they want to do is work. If a chicken's not out and about scratching and manuring, something's wrong. Look at how they've knocked out this jungle garden. It's not so much a jungle garden anymore, is it? I'm confused as to why one word can describe somebody as scared. That's chicken. Sure, I get it. Chickens are chicken, as in scaredy cat, but they're also relentless workers. So today, you can call me a chicken, and I'll be proud of it. Because we got plenty to do. Plenty of editing for those movies that are going up on Marjorie Wildcraft Summit. We got to edit the vlog. We got work to do with our business. Thank you chickens for your great example and your relentless work ethic. I want to be more like you. It is 9.30 in the morning and Lily is still asleep. So let's go check on her. She just woke up when I came in here. She was had her head up. Good morning. <laughs> and how much day to the How many days till your birthday? Let's see. It's less than a week. It's six days till your birthday. Are you excited? Exciting. And you're going to be five years old. Mm -hmm. Lily, I love you. I love you too. We've had a great work day on this Labor Day. Just prepping dinner. Oh look, Beauty's been working on this instructional vid video for the summit. You finished the first one. I finished the one. Yes. And then the now homesteading I'm working one. on the second one. The predator one. Yeah. Okay, good. You've been working hard on it. Look here. Ooh. We are having grass fed antelope. You like antelope, beautiful one? I do. Play that trick on people because that was the name that we named our American Milking Devon Steer. We named him Antelope. So when we have guests, we love to feed antelope. Um. But it's amazing. It's awesome. We got the Warren Wilson grass-fed pork, bacon. I told Beauty, I like this diet that I'm on. It's okay. As long as I can have my bacon. I said to her, you can have your stuff. You can have your other vegetables. Because she's kind of getting sick of carrots and cauliflower. But I said, you know what? Have your enchilada or whatever. Because as long as I can have bacon, I'm feeling good. If I can't have bacon, I'm feeling deprived. Is there something you, if they took it away, that you would feel oh, deprived? so many things. <laughs> so, dairy. She's had to get rid of dairy. gluten. She will not get rid of dairy. Tomatoes. I don't care what you say. I mean, grains occasionally. Pirate's booty. We've had a great dinner. 
And now it's time to go out and get some work done. It's pretty much the last time we're gonna plant for the year. It's getting cold. We're planting for the winter harvest garden. Grows up in the fall, you protect it into the winter, and you harvest it throughout the winter. Hopefully get our Christmas dinner off of here. <coughs> Consulting the book, Four Seasons Har Harvest by Elliot Coleman. Planting guide in the back, in the appendix. And according to your uh, last frost date. And I'm gonna go off of this, but I'm gonna be really hopeful because we're late, we're too late on a lot of the stuff we like. So I'm gonna be hopeful that we're gonna have a later frost date. And I'm gonna go ahead and plant some of these things that maybe are a hair late. What do you say, Mr. Brown? You think we can do that? Yeah. What do you think, Josiah? You think we'll get lucky? No. But we're gonna try anyway, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna try collards, green onions, lettuce, spinach, turnips, chard, and carrots. What the heck? It's way too late to be planting carrots, but maybe we'll try those in the compost pile. You all ready? Yeah. Uh oh. Our plants out here on the compost pile are looking a little dry. We better water them a little bit. And where in the world did these guys go? Gonna give these guys a little bit of moisture on the compost pile. It's probably too hot for them right now during the day and then the heat of the compost. But hopefully that'll pay off when it gets a little colder. We are outside enjoying the fresh air. It's gonna be out, it's starting to cool off out here. Been working inside all day. We're gonna plant these seeds for winter. Gonna plant the winter harvest garden. Probably the last time we'll be doing this this year, guys. Nice outfit, honey. You coming to help with the seeds? Okay, come on. You wanna get wet? If she wants to get wet, she changed her shirt so she can get wet. So I said, alright. Alright, you want me to hose you down? No. Well, how are you going to get wet? That little water over there. Oh, okay. It just got turned off. Alright, I'll turn it back on. Okay, so there's a little mist. There's a little mist here right there, and that's what she wants to play with. Go on. Experiment, we try, but the number one thing is that we just plant. The fall garden has made a recovery. The compost pile garden, I don't know. And this, some of these seeds are just in time. Some of them are hair late. But the idea is that we're planting. Just keep planting. You're gonna always lose some to bugs or poor timing or yeah. off soil. Or chiddlers, of course, yes, or chiddlers. Mm -hmm. Or some other mistake you're gonna make. You're gonna make mistakes. What the important thing to do is just do it. Joel Salatin says, just do something, even if it's wrong, because you're gonna learn from it. A Little bit of change of plans. Set out to plant at least 200 seeds. Looks like we're gonna have way more than 200 seeds. We've got six trays. We've got six varieties of things we wanna plant. But the deal is, some of these, according to Elliot Coleman, can be multi-planted. So for instance, the spinach, you can plant four per block. Four per block on the uh, turnips, and 12 on the bunching onions. So that comes out to 858. Are right, you ready for this? Yeah. You guys, everybody wanna have a part in this? Yeah. yeah. There you go, mom, have at it. You like this part? I do. Or do you like making the blocks better? I like making the blocks. I like this. The seeds is fun. Okay, Johnny, you do the Swiss chard. Okay. One in each block right there, okay? Okay. So a little higher up, Jenna, the one closer to the garage. Just yep. Collards. It's that one. We wanted to celebrate 200 vlogs. <laughs> Today is actually our 200th one, but yesterday we were busy with Art and Brianna. And the reason we wanted to plant seeds in honor of that, even though there ended up being 858. Yeah. So maybe, hopefully that's a 
sign that maybe one day we're gonna have 858 bogs. Yeah. We'll see. So the reason we wanted to plant seeds is because there's all kinds of things that can stop you in farming or harm you in your farming. Bugs, weeds, bad timing, poor bad soil, health. tiddlers, bad, bad health. health. We got hit with bad health in the spring. You can't control those things. But there is one thing you can control. For us in the YouTubing, it's upload. We can't control the views or the likes or the Dislikes. comments or any of that stuff. Just the same with farming. We can't control all the things that might happen to it, but what we can control is planting seeds. Yep. No matter what happens, plant seeds, start chicks, take in control of what you can, and just do it. Sure. Is it a good tomato? You see, this is the best kind of experiment. Because honestly, I could care less if these plants make it. Could you care? Nope. It won't bother me. I'll have a hair of a disappointment. Because it would be kind of fun if they would. It's, yeah. It's, it's warm. So may, maybe we can break some zoning rules by planting into this. Who knows? Yeah. Well, did you tell me about that one time that we had pumpkins in June? No. Because they grew in the pump in the compost yeah. pile. Pop my phone, you got the walk. Sure. Yay. Alright guys, finish up your block throwing and come on in and go to bed. Well hey there, Minnie Mouse. Hey. You ready to go to bed? Uh-oh. Okay, well we gotta go to bed. Hey.